dear students the topic is the uh, metal oxide semiconductor transistor uh, mosfet a field effect transistor the metal oxide semiconductor semiconductor field effect transistor topic code is the ELEC-SPD-S1B so this is the advanced version of the field effect transistor from junction field effect now we move to the metal oxide uh, the field effect transistor and this metal ox uh, MOSFET uh, consists of the 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 construction consists of the there is a called the bulk mass which is p type uh, material called a substrate and uh, connected with the the source over here so what we have the substrate is a bulk which is occupying the whole of the major semiconductor material of the whole this MOSFET and then what we do we dope two n type materials on the opposite sides and leave in between the all the substrate as a material uh, inside the whole this subs, uh, the MOSFET uh, device these n type material then are connected with some ohmic uh, terminals for the drain one is called drain the other one is called the source then what we do we put uh, a dielectric layer thin very very thin in microns this looks very uh, big but it's very thin layer of insulator which is dielectric and uh, as a silicon uh, oxide SiO2 as a layer and we paste it and fuse it with the the surface from the one end to another end source to drain then we what we do we put another uh, metallic aluminium or the, some good metal plate right above the this oxide so that's why metal oxide is called the metal oxide field effect the MOSFET semiconductor field effect metal oxide that's why it is name is given to it so that is the basic uh, construction uh, we will see the uh, this is the depletion region we will see the and the operation we we will start uh, the there are two uh, types we will also discuss that but this is the basic construction of the uh, the MOSFET metal oxides uh, semiconductor field effect transistor so here the metal the MOSFET operate the same as JFET but have gate terminal that is electrically isolated from the conductive channel uh, we will go through the basic uh, working mechanism okay the all the mechanism which I am going to describe is written in description of this file so our main aim is to uh, discuss the main theme of the topic so you can read that out and those documents are available the PDF I uploaded on our uh, physics department website online teaching material you can download it and read it out so we will discuss the understanding uh, what uh, the basic understanding involved in the, the mechanism the construction and the working of those this uh, devices so here we take this is the n channel MOSFET this is the p channel MOSFET you can see that the substrate uh, this is the uh, the is p type and the channel through which the main charge carriers flows uh, that is the n type so that's why it's called the n, n channel uh, uh, the MOSFET this device then the another this is the p now the, the, the here is the p channel because the majority charge carriers which current constitutes flow through that so substrate is made of this p semiconductor material in this case the substrate the bulk material is made of the n material so uh, that is the main uh, the the construction uh, basic construction of the these two n channel p channel mosfet devices this is the now uh, uh, the diagram you can see uh, this is for the n channel the arrowhead is pointed towards now this is the dotted three plates we can see this uh, in order to make the differentiation between the JFET and this is the uh, MOSFET 
um, this dotted three plates are introduced over here and the gate is the main uh, plate and there's a drain and the source the substrate and the source are interconnected together similarly here is the p channel which is the arrowhead is going outward substrate and the source is connected together and again three dotted plates are here which resembles the the uh, the gives the rather the gives the notation or the symbolic notation of the these two uh, n channel p channel devices okay we have okay uh, we have two types uh, uh, in the mosfet which is one is called enhancement type uh, and the other is called the depletion type uh, this is the notation for the enhancement this is dotted uh, these two, three plates and this one is for the uh, depletion type undotted plate complete one single plate rest is the same almost similar uh, figure and the terminals are also the similar this is the obviously the uh, for the uh, p channel which is pointing outward this is n channel pointing inward the arrow pointing inward so uh, these are the two types now let us see in a little bit uh, in uh, another figure very clear figures which we would like to discuss the details of those these two types now here we have got first let's take up the depletion mosfet uh, the, these two illustrations the, this figure in these two figures will very verify the basic working mechanism uh, we what we have again this is a mosfet uh, we have got this is the insulator uh, or the dielectric silicon dioxide this is a metal obviously the voltage is applied between the uh, the obviously source to gate uh, this is the gate obviously gate terminal this is the drain terminal and also the vdd is applied between the drain to source so in the absence you see the switches off are open uh, the all of the channel is negatively electrons are available for the flow if we we apply the maximum drain current will be flowing uh, if you take the conventional current from positive to negative all the channel is available for the this uh, uh, flow of the charges maximum charge flow. but when we apply the gate voltage here switch on this gate voltage with the negative uh, uh, polarity over here what it will do it will polarize the this material uh, the direct material silicon dioxide which is the the negative player with uh, this positive charges in here on this side while the negative charges on the other side this negative field will induce from the substrate this is a bulb p type the positive charges it will pull the a layer of the positive charges towards this the uh, uh, silicon dioxide uh, the, where it will what it does you see you can see that it has depleted the channel okay this amount of the area has been depleted it could be uh, of any uh, shape but in this case you can see the channel has been narrowed down so the current is decreased so negative voltage when is applied the the channel size is decreased because of depletion of the the ch channel uh, region because of the induction of the positive charges on the opposite side from the this this is the job of the p type uh, the substrate to supply the positive charges whenever this metal is negatively charged it's like it act like a capacitor okay? it's like, like a capacitor so the drain current is controlled uh, more negative charge means uh, narrower again the the channel and there a time will reach that it will cut off the channel then it will hit the almost close to the surface of this uh, uh, this uh, subst the total surface of the near to the silica dioxide now the so this is depletion mosfet means the channel is depleted of the charges the whatever the main charges charge carriers are negative charge carriers they have been depleted the next type is the again this is the this time now you can say in the previous case the channel was connected with the n type material but in this case channel is not connected this is the called the enhancement MOSFET. Uh, the channel will be enhanced in this case. We will say enhancement. You see, the means reflects the operations. In case of depletion, the channel was depleted 
from the, 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 the main charge carriers. So if the charge carriers are depleted, that's called depletion type. If the charge carrier is enhanced, that's called enhancement. So in the absence, you can see there is no charge here, although we have applied, but the current again is zero. The current will be flowing from drain to source because there is no physical link between these these two uh, the end materials. But as we connect now, this one polarity is positive. When we apply the positive charge to the plate, it will again polarize the dielectric material or insulator, silica dioxide. And in turn, what will it will do that uh, it will now the induce the negative charges because here is the positive, this is negative, then positive. So this positive charge will induce negative charges from the now P type substance. So it will what it will do, it is populated, the channel is populated or enhanced with the negative charges. So the, all these negative charges will link. Will, will make the path and the current will start flowing. More and more positive means more and more channel and maximum positive means the maximum channel will be available for the flow of the charges. So the, this is the clear, very beautiful description of the, the, uh, the depletion and enhancement type of the MOSFETs. So the, let's uh, move on now. The, the, the same figure is again has been here. Uh, drawn and the illustrated. Uh, the MOSFET operate the same as the JFET but have the gate the terminal that is electrically isolated from the conductor channel. So let's, let's okay we have gone through the basic uh, instruction of the and the rest is the des described over here you read it out and that is the details are given basic thing we have. Uh, discuss in those slides the depletion uh, mode MOSFET which we have in quite clearly uh, explained. Uh, so you can read that out details are given here. Now here we see the depletion mode and channel MOSFET and circuit symbols. This is the uh, characteristic curve which we draw between the VDS and IDS. It's again the output characteristic curve you can see similar to that the uh, output characteristic curve of the BJT. And as we discussed previously for JFET as well. So VGS voltages are different level of voltages are applied and we see the response of the IDS in that case. This is the circuit symbol uh, already we have defined but again uh, rather illustrated you again again for the, the depletion type we have N channel and the P channel uh, the symbolic notations. Okay, so now let's. This is the again we have also explained the enhancement mode uh, MOSFET. So description is given over here. No need to go through that description. Uh, this is the again characteristic curve for the uh, enhancement. You can see the polarity is now changed. The volt polarity difference you can see, and the output characteristic curve are the same, which we have explained for JFET or the depletion uh, mode of MOSFET. So uh, you see the output resistance curve are the similar to the bipolar junction transistor. This is the uh, the circuit symbols for the uh, enhancement uh, MOSFET. It is the we have the dotted plates over here. This is the N channel and this is the P channel. Now the MOSFET uh, to we use as a amplifier we have got over here this is a circuit diagram. Here we can see the again this is a self wise circuitry uh, circuit diagram as we have done. You say this is C1 input capacitor, in, input capacitor which is input voltage we provide, output voltage we take, and this is the obviously uh, N channel MOSFET amplifier. This is the uh, the drain uh, the, the drain resistor which is causing uh, making the drain current to flow. VDD is applied. This is the source resistor. In case of bipolar junction transistor, we have emitter resistor and the collector resistor. The VG is the gate voltage is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. This is the obviously if you take the voltage across R2 that is the feeding voltage biasing voltage to the gate R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times this is theorem theorem if VDD is applied as a source voltage. Similarly drain current is the Vs uh, divided by Rs uh, the source voltage as a whole we will take. Again further the, all the details are given in this uh, description you can read that out all the very uh, nicely uh, and very 
clearly uh, discussions are given. Uh, summary is at, at the end. We have got MOSFET tutorial summary. What we have uh, learned in this whole topic that is also given. So hopefully, to, uh, students, you have uh, a pretty good information about this uh, MOSFET device, and you have learned. And you can consult other books as well. Uh, furthermore, uh, further detail circuitries or the uh, different other applications. With this, we reach to the end of the topic. Thank you.